So you're playing Animal Crossing New Horizons and Mr. Nook hits you up with a fatty loan. We're talking a fatty loan. You can't possibly come up with this amount of bells. What on earth is a poor villager to do? Well, no need to worry because Andy Rich is here to save the day with some tips on how to make some quick bells. I've played hours of Animal Crossing in all its iterations. Well, almost all of them. And I would love to share my knowledge with you. If you find this video helpful, be sure to toss it a like and maybe even subscribe to the channel. It's super helpful and it'll make my day. Also, let me know if I missed anything in the comments section below. When I first started playing Animal Crossing New Horizons and Nook's Cranny was introduced, I thought the drop-off box outside was great. I could sell my items and get bells later the next day without Nook's Cranny being open. Wrong! The things sold to the drop-off box sell for 80% of their normal value. For example, in this clip, the drop-off box offered me 2,000 bells for the wasp I'm trying to sell, while Timmy offered me 2,500 bells. If you guys are looking to sell stuff, I'd recommend waiting until Nook's Cranny is open to get the full value for your goods. Ah, the money rock, one of Animal Crossing's worst kept secrets. The idea of the money rock is that one random rock on your island will be the money rock every day. Hitting this rock repeatedly with a shovel or stone axe will cause it to cough up bells repeatedly. If done correctly, you can hit the rock 8 times for a grand total of 16,100 bells every day. The key is to dig behind you in these two patterns to prevent you from getting knocked too far back. Pick the pattern that you like best. Once per day, a glowing spot will appear in the ground on your island. You can dig up this spot for a free 1,000 bells. However, the fun does not stop there. If you bury a bag of bells in the glowing spot, a money tree will grow. Wait for that sucker to grow, and you'll be rewarded with triple the amount of bells you buried. So if you buried, say, 1,000 bells, you'll come out with 3,000 bells. Trust me, it's worth the wait, because you can bury up to 99,000 bells. That's a lot of bells. Every day on your island, there are five beehives and two pieces of furniture hidden in your trees. The wasps can be tricky to catch, but if you have your net out ahead of time, you can swing at them before they can even move. The wasps sell for 2,500 bells each, and you can also sell the hives for 300 bells each for a total of 14,000 bells per day just from the wasps and their nests. In addition, fruit can be a solid method of income. Local fruit sells for only 100 bells a piece, but foreign fruit from other islands sells for 500 bells a piece. For those foreign fruits, that's 1,500 bells per tree. That can add up fast. New Horizons features a lot of bugs that are worth your while to catch. Here are a few examples in particular, but I'd recommend experimenting on your own to find those hidden gems that are worth a lot of bells. The paper kite butterfly can be found during the daytime. It sells for 1,000 bells. The Orchid Mantis can be found in the daytime on flowers. It sells for 2,400 bells. The Emperor Butterfly can be found primarily in the evening and nighttime. It sells for 4,000 bells. The Man-Faced Stink Bug sells for 1,000 bells. It can be found at nighttime on flowers. And finally, as scary as it is, the Tarantula sells for a whopping 8,000 bells. Just be careful out there. Additionally, during your island's summer months, there are several rare beetles that spawn on palm trees. These can sell for big money, so be sure to take advantage of that. Fish are a bit different from bugs because you don't know what type of fish you're catching until you catch it. You could be catching the fabled coelacanth, or you could be catching a sea bass. And the odds are, it's a sea bass. That being said, some fish are very valuable. For example, the oarfish sells for 9,000 bells, and the golden trout goes for a whopping 15,000 bells. Everyone has a different routine for making the most money, and I encourage you to find a way that is best for you and for your island. Shooting down presents can be a good way to make some extra bells. Balloons can yield 5,000 or even 10,000 bells, as well as materials like iron nuggets and gold nuggets, furniture, and DIY recipes. I'd recommend shooting down every balloon present that you see. Do you have an excess of hardwood or softwood like me? You can use those extra materials to craft and sell furniture. Many craftable pieces of furniture can net you 1,000 to 3,000 bells, which can add up quickly, especially considering how easy it can be to get some of those crafting supplies. Additionally, Nook's Cranny will have a daily hot item, 
So if that item is easily craftable, you'll be raking in the bells in no time. There are a lot of other ways to make bells in New Horizons, such as the stock market and fossils, that I didn't get into in this video. One of the joys of Animal Crossing is discovering for yourself the little ways to optimize your life and your daily habits. Have some fun exploring what the game has to offer. I hope that this video acted as a springboard into your island getaway. If you found it helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more Animal Crossing videos. Thank you so much for watching, and happy playing!